Hi, it's Julie here with Julie Wilkins Yoga. And no, that's not me. This is actually my friend, um, Shanti, who has been really helpful for me. As you can see, she kind of curves over to one side. So I thought she was the perfect skeleton for me to have in order to really learn and understand and teach the anatomy of the spine and the body. So any of those of you out there who are interested in beginning a yoga practice, particularly for those of you who've had spine fusion surgery for scoliosis, it is really important that you understand what the spine is like, how it moves, and where you are fused. So make sure to get your x-rays and have someone read to you and tell you specifically where you are fused so that as you begin to understand and learn how to practice yoga or even just move your body, you understand where you need to stabilize and support your fusion and then what areas of your body have mobility and that we can work gently and gradually over time on improving mobility in the parts of the body that are unfused. So here is a spine and if you look at the very top, there are seven neck vertebra, seven cervical vertebra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ends right here. And then you have what starts the thoracic right here where the collarbones are. Okay, so you have T1 through T12. And if you notice the thoracic vertebra are attached to rib cage. So in a normal person without a, a spine fusion, the thoracic spine is really not extremely mobile because it's, it's got the rib cage attached to it and the rib cage is designed to, to uh, buffer the, the lungs. So um, for us, most of you, if you had a double curve, you probably were fused in the high thoracic levels. I am fused at T3, right here. So I have T1 and T2 that move, and they really don't move much anyway. And then I've got my neck, which is free and mobile. So I'm fused all the way down to L3, which would be right here. So I have four and five. Um, hopefully, most of you that were fused were at least left with two vertebra. Some of you, if you, especially if you had Harrington rods in the 80s, you may only have L5 right here. You have less mobility in the lumbar spine. If you have four and five, you have a tiny bit more mobility. And some of you lucky ones might have L3, four, and five. And that means that you have a good amount of mobility there in the lower spine. These can move, the ones that are not fused, whereas the ones that are fused, it's solid. It's a solid bone. It does not move. You don't want to pull and stretch on it. You don't even want to wrap your mind around the idea of moving the fused spine. You want to think about supporting the fusion and finding mobility in the areas that are unfused, the neck and the lumbar vertebra. You also want to move them carefully and with support. So let's also take a look here. When we practice yoga, we work on a lot of mobility in what's called the shoulder girdle. So here's the shoulder blade, the scapula. And you can't see on this skeleton, but the scapula is designed to glide and slide. It moves this way and this way. It moves forward and it moves back. So we're going to be working a lot of that area. This is not fused. Your shoulder blade, your shoulder girdle is not fused in a typical spinal fusion. So you have a lot of mobility there along with the ability to separate your collarbones. This would be a collarbone. So they can spread apart um, in your practice and you can get mobility there. When we come down to the lower body here, of course we have the sacrum which is naturally fused. So there's not much movement here. You've got your hip joint, the ball and socket, and we're gonna work on a lot of good, strong mobility in the hips because that area is not fused as well. So I hope that helps you 
in the beginning of understanding what your spine um, can do for you. And just remember, make sure that you have cleared you with your doctor that you are clear to begin a yoga or any physical exercise program post surgery you have to give your spine plenty of time to heal and then you're ready typically release to get back into the world long term the key here is to understand your body to connect with your body to support your fusion and find mobility in the areas that are still mobile. I'll meet you on the mat. Namaste.